swinging like our grandparents. That's the new trend in Amsterdam. Lindy Hop, a dance from the roaring 20s and 30s, is now celebrating its comeback in the dance studios and clubs. We are here at the Swing Street Tea Dance, trying to find out what's it all about. So this is what Amsterdamers do on a Sunday afternoon, shaking their bodies to swing music. The first steps are always hard. Here at Swing Street, you can learn Lindy Hop from scratch. Lindy Hop is one of the dancers from the swing dance family. It started back in the 20s and it came out of uh, other popular dances of the time like the Charleston, the Breakaway and the Jitterbug and so on. And it's, it was first danced in the Savoy Ballroom at Harlem, New York. And it what started off as a, something for African-American teenagers to go and just party hard in a ballroom filled with a lot of uh, white people eventually became a rage. It was so flashy, so showy and so energetic that it started attracting a lot of attention. Especially young people have rediscovered Lindy Hop. On social dance events like this, Lindy Hoppers leave their everyday life behind and celebrate the 20s and 30s era. I like the atmosphere a lot. Uh, it brings you back to a certain time that, well, you didn't grow up, uh, grew up in. When you go outside, you're seeing people that live in the now. But when you step into a linear hop party, you actually get a quite a 20s, 30s feel. At least a little bit. I mean, everybody's dancing. Everybody's dancing. There's nobody who's, there's nobody who's not dancing, uh, which feels quite old-fashioned, but in a nice kind of way. Well, it's not surprising that many of our grandparents met each other on the dance floor. A dance like Lindy Hop connects people. That's also why a lot of international people join it. If you ask me what is it that I really like about Lindy Hop, I would say it's the social aspect of it. And everyone who goes to a party tries to dance with as many people as possible at the dance floor. It's not that you go with your partner and you dance with your partner alone, but you really try to find everybody in the dance floor, ask them to a dance and try to get a dance with everyone. It's a bit like speed dating. You need to understand each other. There's always a leader in the partnership, um, but as a follower you can um, influence sometimes his lead or you can change a little bit your footwork. It's a bit like having a conversation. Yes, That's it's quite old-fashioned. <laughs> I'm always the leader and she's always the follower. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes she takes over, but then I correct her. Yeah. <laughs> this old-fashioned dance is now hip again. In Amsterdam you can find Lindy Hop classes every day, mostly taught in English. Also there are many social dances and in summer the swing bike brings Lindy Hop even to the parks. So Lindy Hop is more than just a dance, it's a whole lifestyle and a form of communication. If you want to try it out, then just check out the website lindyhop.nl.